Today we are going to talk about one of the fundamental and most used operations in IDA – jump to address. When working in the disassembly window, you would often want to navigate to a specific address in the listing. Let's say that you know the address. One way to go to that location is to perform a search. Another way, a very primitive one, is scrolling by using the mouse wheel or arrow up, arrow down or page up, page down hotkeys. Remember that doing that in the text mode would be much easier. Another way to jump to a known address is when you know it is already available somewhere in the output log. Double click on it and you will jump to its location in the disassembly. While any of these methods would do the job, the easiest way to get to that location is to use the Jump to Address dialog. To access it, go to Jump, Jump to Address from the menu. Alternatively, you can use the G hotkey. Once the dialog opens, write down the address, press OK and either will display the desired location. It is also possible to jump to the address if you know the item's name. Just write it in the dialog and click OK. There might be a case where you want to jump forward or backward from your current address. To do that, press G. Write plus if you want to jump forward or minus for backward and enter the value. Once confirmed, either will make a record of the jump and it will be available along with previously requested locations. To access the history, go to the Jump to Address dialog, click the drop-down list, select the desired record and confirm. Another way to navigate in the Jump history is to use the forward or backward arrows in the toolbar or use the Escape and Control plus Enter hotkeys. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Show us how we did it below and don't forget to keep following our channel for more helpful content.